Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more Mortal Kombat X Towers series, and y'all know what time it is. Time to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I really don't like the flavor of bubblegum. Um, playing as Takeda, Shirayu, yeah. Yeah, medium. Fighting Jax, and Takeda is uh, brand new to this game as well. He's Kenshi's, uh, Kenshi's son. And he was trained by Scorpion, so he's got some like Scorpion inspired moves, which is pretty cool. Heard you're a tech geek. I've got some toys you'll like. Well, who do you think designed them? Round one. Fight. Well, Jax, why would you design these toys for me if I'm gonna kick your ass with them, huh? Nope. Nope. It's almost too easy. I practice. I just practiced with Takeda for like, I don't know, 10-15 minutes, and I love his special moves. I've never really played with him before, but he's pretty kick-ass, actually. Nope. I thought he was going to kick that pot at me. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I'm laughing at the fact that we just broke um, Jax's metal arm in half and blood squirted. Like, there's all kinds of blood in it, but I'm pretty sure, if I can remember right, I don't think that it's like a metal casing. I'm pretty sure it's a solid metal arm, so that should not happen. I sensed your arrival. Because I wanted you to. I'm clearly in the presence of greatness. Round one. Fight. Oh shit. Getting tricky. I can be tricky too. Nope. No. Okay, Raiden Raiden's gonna pose a challenge. Him and his damn electric moves. And you're teleporting. Teleporting's cheating. Don't try that again. God, this map looks so cool. The rain and like the characters actually have the water on them and stuff. Get out of here. Get. Get out of here. Oh, I think I just wasted a meter on that. Dance quicker than the eye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Try to teleport through that. You son of a... You know what, if it's raining and you're all electrical and stuff, shouldn't that like short you out or something? I got your ribcage. Now you got your ribcage. <laughs> that fatality is ridiculous. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. A uh, little bit of a <coughs> little bit of a cold going on today. What up, Cassie? You have no idea what I got for you. I can read minds, remember? Well, here's a thought for you. Round one, fight! I can't tell if she was just flirting with me because she wants me, or if she wants to kill me. But she just launched a missile, so I'm going to go with option one. She's flirting with me. Nope. 
Don't you do that. Good thing she calls it out. It tells me. I got whips. I got whips. See? Whips. Round two. Fight. Don't mess with me. I'm the bad guy from Iron Man 2. I will fuck you up. Actually, I will have a really, really boring short fight scene once in the movie in the middle at a damn Monte Carlo or something like that on a racetrack. And then uh, I'll never fight you again. I just build some drones. Spoiler alert, Iron Man 2. I was really, in all honesty though, Iron Man 2, super disappointed with that fight in the middle with the whip guy. Oh, why you gotta be like that? Whoops. No! No! Takeda wins. That's okay, I did that on purpose so you guys could see that really cool uh, scene where he flipped his whips around and stuff. Totally on purpose. Jackie Briggs, Jackie Briggs. I already killed your father. I ripped his metal arm in half. Not the date I had in mind. Rather do dinner in a movie? No, this is just fine. Round one. Do 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 do. Ignore this. What is that move? I did it correctly. Why did it not work? Oh well. Dinner in a movie? No, I'll just kick your ass. This move is basically like, hey, uh, didn't you say something then about you might have been, uh, might have been pregnant? Well, now I can't even do it. There goes that joke out the window. Whoa, what was that? I didn't even know you could do that. Hey Jack, you want to see a magic trick? Wow, that hurt to watch. What you got? Oh, let's see if I can do this. Come on, let me do this. Commence Lieutenant Lieutenant Dan jokes. Insert Lieutenant Dan Forrest Gump jokes right here. Do you mock me? I'm honored by your presence. I shall honor you with combat. Round one, fight! I feel like we were being sarcastic about being honored by his presence. I don't think we care. Whoa, don't do that. Whip mode, oh crap. Ah, oh. ow. Oh. You're dead. No, I'm really, I'm really liking Takeda's moves though. He's like a really good, it's like a combination between, it's like Scorpion, but he's got some zoning abilities because of the whips. And who else am I thinking of? Who's the other one? It's kind of fast. I don't know, any fast character really, Cassie, any of those. Don't block that. Ow. Stop blocking stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, I like that one. Takeda wins. So I really, I wonder how Takeda's ending is going to be, because we did Kenshi's. But yeah, Kenshi's is dead, right? Yeah, we did Kenshi, and at the end. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the Kinshi episode. Um, Son of Kinshi. You're not getting in my head. We could have been friends. Round one, fight. I don't feel like we could have been friends. Anyways, yeah. Him and uh, Takeda and Kinshi like meet up and they uh, help avenge Takeda's mother's death. So I wonder if it's just like the same ending but from Takeda's view or what they're, if they're going to do something different. I don't really know. Oh, that's what I was trying to do to you. That's not fair. Haha. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, no time to joke around. Will this be enough to finish? No, there's no way this can be enough to finish him off. Wow, that hurt to watch. Oh. Oh come on! Don't be don't be stupid! Don't be stupid! Whew, leg sweep for the win. Round two, fight. Hey. Oh, I love that combo. That's a good one. Takes a meter, but it's still really good. Hey, you know what? I just remembered I have those. Okay, um... Oh, that would hurt. Oh, that would hurt too. Really, none of that would feel good. Takeda wins. Fatality. Why is his mouth bubbling? Red Rover, Red Rover, send Katana right over. Y'all remember playing Red Rover? I miss playing Red Rover. That was good times. Foolish boy. Good enough to beat you. Not on your fastest day. Round one. Fight. Um, I bet I still will beat you. Hey, hey. Hey, no. No. Uppercut, man. That's... You never fail with the uppercut. Oh, I wasted a meter. Why don't you just do that the whole time? Sit there and spin your whips around in circles and they can't touch you. You would back off, maybe I could try a whip thing. Or not. That's cool. Whatever. There we go, some whip action. What are those people shooting at back there? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, really? Really? Final round, fight. Tired of messing around, Katana. Say no time to, to, to dance, time to kick ass. 
Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I can't help but to laugh Try every that time that happens. Takeda wins. Mama always said life is like a box of chocolates. This movie's gonna suck. In case you haven't noticed, if you've seen any other videos, there's an ongoing theme in my channel and it's called I Don't Like Forrest Gump. You have a psychic energy. I like to think so. It will not save you. Round one. Fight. Ermac, why do you get to be the only guy in the Mortal Kombat universe that freaking flies? Okay, this could be an interesting fight. He he seems like he knows what he's doing. How did that hit me? Did you see that hit me from over here? Oh, man, stop teleporting. That is that is just cheap and uncalled for. Oh my god. For the pain, give up. Round two, fight. I ain't got time for your bullshit. No. Oh, maybe that's how he hit me from all the way across the map earlier. Maybe it was that move. Oh, it actually makes sense with him, though, since his arms aren't made of metal. Oh, shit, it's Goro. It's Goro time. I didn't realize we were that close already. We've only missed um, one fatality or brutality so far. You exude psychic energy. I do, Goro Half-Dragon. It matters not. Round one. Fight. Just as long as he doesn't punch walk. If we can if we can somehow manage to keep him away from us, keep him at a distance. We might be okay. Oh, did I just get a flawless? I just got a flawless against Goro. That's what happened. Fight. Oh, well, not happening that time. Die, human. Hey, Goro, come here. You, you. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Uppercut for the win. Yeah. I feel like that's just overkill. You've already removed the rib cage. He's probably dead. You don't gotta stick it through his through his mouth. All right, big bad boy Shinnok. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get gold though. We've done enough, and we've done several brutalities. Pretty pretty sure we got gold. Father of all evil. You flatter me. That's probably the best description of him so far, father of all evil. Especially once he turns into stupid Cheaty McGee fire chest. Oh, 
Oh, I keep forgetting I have that move too. I'm not a huge fan of it. It doesn't seem to... It's kind of hard to control where it's landing. Whoa, whoa! Oh, okay, okay, stop it. You're, I get it. You've got some moves. Oh, we might lose this one. Just kidding, wasn't worried for a second. Okay, yeah, we lost that one. Oh, let me whip you. That sounded, that sounded uncalled for. Whoa, calm, calm yourself. Okay, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The moment that none of you have been waiting for. Fire chest. Oh, there he goes. A third of my health gone. One shot. Actually, more like a fourth, but still. Oh, oh, there we go. Down to half. Took a whole third... Actually, it, it literally took six seconds in the match. This is... This is... Not going well. Oh, there's the fire chest. Oh, and I'm dead. Oh, good. He doesn't have my head that time. Okay, okay. You got you got to lose some to win some. Whatever. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Final round fight. I ain't playing with you this time, Shinnok. This ain't no joke. Oh crap. Oh crap, what is up with that grab move? It's like instant. I stopped his fire chest. And not that time. We're so close. We're so close. Oh, that's gonna do it. Boom. Yeah, so playing as Takeda, really like, uh, really like playing as Takeda. It's got a nice move set, the whips, the teleporting is really nice if you use the Shiro Ryu version. It's got a couple. The other versions are like whip based, where he spins them in circles, and then one where he doesn't have the whips. He's just got swords. With Shinnok defeated, Takeda and his father set out to find his mother's killer, a member of the Red Dragon Clan. Special Forces Tech enabled Takeda to locate the clan's base and disguise himself and Kenshi as they infiltrated their ranks. Deep within the mountain stronghold, Takeda discovered an actual dragon, a prisoner of the clan. The creature used its magic to divine the murderer's name, then transport Takeda and Kenshi to a faraway cave. There they discovered a man encased in a stalagmite. The dragon had said this man would also have reason to confront Su Chin's killer. Takeda began to free him. Okay, I don't remember who that is. That's cool that there's an actual freaking dragon. But yeah, I have no idea who they released from the cave. That's unbeknownst to me. Let's see how we did. 
Gotta get gold. Oh, yeah, we got gold. Oh, yeah, we got gold by a ton. Was never worried. Awesome. Well, guys, um, that's it for this episode. I hope to see you all in the next one. Really hope you enjoyed it. If so, click that like button. Greatly appreciate it. And, yeah, catch you all later.